Hey guys, it's Wacky. Welcome to another video. So before this video starts, I just want to say, uh, if you don't know, my little brother has a channel called Wes Plays. There'll be a link in the description, as always. And he also has another channel with his neighbour, uh, with our neighbour, called uh, Born to Be Skillful. That is his football channel. So go subscribe to both of them. Hope you like them. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into the video. So I'm doing this top five games uh, of the month. So this is March, uh, this won't be up in March, but this is the games of March, um, because why not? This is the top five games of March, because at the end of each month, or at the start of the next month, in like the first like five or ten days of that month, there will be a top five of the month, okay? So, I've just came up with this, I hope you like the background, if it's there, it's saucy. Um, so I'm doing this on my vlog channel because this is kind of a vlog because I'm right here and um, not on my gaming channel even though it is about games it's not an actual playing a game which is what my gaming channel is for. So we're going to go straight into this with number 5. Number 5 is actually Hitman. So you probably didn't expect this but Hitman is actually an alright game you know. Um, people have been giving it a lot of hate um, because of how it's came out but they haven't actually thought about the actual game you know. I mean, the gameplay is actually really cool, the graphics are really good, um, you know, I've watched a lot of people play it, it looks really good, I really want to get it, but uh, I really, I'm going to agree with the other, the other people, not in the same way, but I do think they released the game a bit weirdly, they shouldn't have released it how they did, because they released it uh, like with one level, and then when you buy the full version, it will be out next at the end of the year, so... I don't really know what you guys think about that, but I don't think it was a very good idea of them. I think they should have just released a demo and then released it a few like weeks after like usual uh, games. But um, overall, it's a good game. That's why I put it in number five. So number four is Trackmania Turbo. So I didn't know there was a game called Trackmania until now, and I seen on Instagram that they announced that they were making a DLC of Trackmania, which is Trackmania Turbo. And I looked at the trailer and I was like, oh, saucy. So I just got it a few days ago. I've been playing it a lot recently. I uh, made a video for my gaming channel. Probably not up by the time you see this. But yeah, I did make a game gaming video for that. And uh, it's a really good game. It's really fun. The graphics in it are really good. There's actually a, um, there's a multiplayer thing. There is a, there's a mode where you can go against a bot to get gold medal, silver medal or bronze medal in each of the races or you can go on a uh, track builder and you can build your own tracks which has a lot of cool stuff in it so I suggest going in there making tracks playing it with your friend it also does go split screen up to four players and uh, it's on PC I believe PS4 and Xbox One so if you have any of them you can definitely go get this game and at number three is the calling so if you don't know what the calling is it is basically like the Hunger Games. You go around, you fight other people to the death. I think I haven't really played a lot of this game. I've seen the trailer for it. It looks really, really good. I really want to get it. It's only ten pound uh, on Steam. I don't know if it's on anything else. I definitely know it's on PC because I've seen it on Steam, but I don't know if it's on anything else. So I definitely suggest getting this game. Really good graphics, really good gameplay, really good weapons. You know, overall, it's really good. You can just play with your friends. Have a laugh and kill each other. So at number two is Far Cry Primal. And I know a lot of people are liking this game at the moment on Steam. They have a lot of positive reviews. And, you know, I don't blame them. I mean, that's a really good game. Uh, it's good that they finally made a game completely different to the other Far Cry. Because the other ones were, you know, you go around killing people with guns and stuff, but this time it's set way, way back and they finally made a game which is all old and it's, it suits the Far Cry style still because you know you go around you do stuff like oh, kill big creatures the creatures in it are really big, like they're really cool they are really detailed, the graphics in it are amazing again uh, and that's why I put it in number two So 
So finally, in number one, we have got The Division by Tom Clancy. So, a lot of you guys will know this game because it's a very popular game at the moment. Steam has very, very positive reviews on it. They, um, you know, it's very different to all the other shooting games because, you know, it's, you know, it's a um, third-person shooter game, which is not a lot of sh uh, shooter games because no one... I don't know, people don't really like that much uh, compared to like, you know, COD because that's a first person shooter and CSGO, but this is a really good game. You can do missions, you know, you can go around just killing people. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a multiplayer um, mode in it, so you'll have to check that out for yourself. Uh, I think it's £40 on Steam right now, don't know if it's on anything else, but it's a really good game overall. Graphics, again, are really good. Uh, and I love really, I love looking out for the graphics because you know if the game doesn't have really good graphics, you're not really going to want to play it. If it's like bloody, you know, the first GTA, very good. We're taking it back. 